I have been a serious Christian for many years, and I believed that I was saved and living a good Christian life. But on July 28, 1998, I had a heart attack, and I died. I left my body, and I was on my way to hell. I knew it was final, and I was not coming back. I was not living in sin. I was baptized in water, baptized in the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues. To my mind and my understanding, I was doing right, living a good Christian life. But there I was. I had left my body. I was floating on my back, being drawn down a dark black hole on my way to hell. I pleaded with Jesus to let me come back, but all to no avail. Eventually I said, Lord, let me please go back and warn the world that Jesus is alive and hell is real. Then Jesus allowed me to come back. My full testimony is on my YouTube channel and on my website. Many people have asked me what I was neglecting and what I was doing wrong that caused me to be going to hell. I was going by my own understanding of the Bible and I was not bearing fruit for the kingdom of God. After that, Jesus taught me that I have to walk with him and be led by the Holy Spirit to be able to bear fruit. Jesus said that every branch in him that does not bear fruit will get cut off and burned. I was not bearing fruit because I followed my own mind and was not led by the Holy Spirit. And so I was being cut off. We read in Micah 6 verse 8, he has told you, O oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. We read the scriptures, and we often do not know how to practically apply them, how to walk with God. In the first place, we have to turn to God, seek His way, not our way. God's way is Jesus Christ. Obeying, listening to, and following Him. The only way to have eternal life is to believe in Jesus, and therefore to follow Him. How do we obey Jesus in the first place? Repent. Turn from sin. Stop sinning altogether. Sin no more. Do not sin. Do justice. Love kindness. Repent. Turn from following your own desires, lusts and ambitions. Make it your ambition to be holy and pleasing to God. Make it your ambition to do the will of God and live a life that is pleasing to Him. Be baptized in water for the forgiveness of your sins, as Jesus commanded. Live your life in obedience to the teachings and commands of Jesus, as they were also recorded in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. If you do not take these first steps and obey the teachings and commandments of Jesus, you cannot follow Jesus. You cannot walk with Him, and you do not have the hope of eternal life. Going to church, reading the Bible, paying tithes, fellowship with other Christians, preaching, casting out demons, speaking in tongues, building churches, doing religious things, all of those things that many Christians do are all in vain. 
If you do not obey his words, repent and be baptized and then follow him. I want to remind you that Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name cast out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Matthew 7 verse 21 to 23 Jesus was talking to believers. Unbelievers do not prophesy in the name of Jesus. Neither do they cast out demons or perform miracles. Jesus was saying that those who practice lawlessness are not known by him. Many Christians today are living in sin. They say they are under grace, not under law. But they practice lawlessness. Guess what? Jesus will say to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Those Christians are not walking with God. They are following Satan. Many of them preachers and respected pastors with huge ministries and churches who speak in tongues, prophesy, cast out demons, heal the sick, and perform miracles in the name of Jesus. They are doing all those things, but they are not living holy. Therefore, they have no communion with Jesus. Their fruit is bad, because they are living in sin, and not bringing others to repentance and holiness. The foundation of our walk with Jesus is obedience to His teachings and commandments, and holiness. Without those, we will not progress in our walk with Him. In short, repent and be baptized and be holy. Set yourself aside for Jesus. Dedicate your life to Him. Seek Him in prayer and He will disclose Himself to you. Jesus said, He who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will disclose myself to him. John 12 verse 21 If we demonstrate to Jesus our love for him through our obedience to his commandments, he will reveal himself to us. He will come and dwell in us. He will give his Holy Spirit in us to be with us and guide us so that we can follow Him and walk with Him. You cannot follow Jesus in blind faith, like so many claim to do. Faith comes from hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ, Romans 10 verse 17. You need to hear from Jesus to be able to follow Him and do what He requires of you. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John 10 verse 27 The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 8 verse 14, For all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. You have to be one of his sheep to hear his voice, listen and follow him. He speaks through His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that He gives in those who obey Him. You have to go after Jesus to have eternal life. You have to follow Him. You have to seek and obey His guidance. You have to seek His approval. Why was I on my way to hell, even though, by my understanding, and by accepted Christian standards, I was a good Christian. 
I was still the boss of my life. I lived to please me. I had to dedicate my life to Jesus, repent from my plans, ambitions and desires and become a sheep, a disciple who follows him, hears from him and does what he wants me to do. I had to become a servant of the kingdom of God and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I had to repent, turn from my opinion, insight and understanding and learn from Jesus what he wanted me to understand. The Bible took on new meaning for me. I was reading it with fresh eyes and a new mind. My mind had to be renewed, reformatted by listening to Jesus, following the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Years of indoctrination from listening to other Christians had to be wiped off and retaught, replaced with truth. What I have learned is not to trust in my own understanding or what I previously learned or experienced, but to listen to the Master's voice. Trust, obey and follow Him. Never assume. Always ask and follow His guidance. Do not trust in your own understanding. Neither ask the opinion of others, even if they are also disciples of Jesus. Follow and obey Jesus, even if you are the only one that goes in the direction that He sends you. Jesus will guide you, but you have to follow and keep following Him until the end. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. You cannot follow Jesus if you do not absolutely trust Him. You only get to truly know Him if you walk with Him. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Are you ready to walk with Jesus and do what God requires of you, dear friend? It is a narrow, lonely road and only few are on it. But it is the only road that leads to eternal life. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.